What's good, family? It's your brother, Abdul. And today, we're gonna make creamy mac and cheese and lobster. For today's lobster and mac and cheese, I'm gonna be using lion's mane, which is a mushroom and it's perfect for mac. All right, family, so normally we boil our pasta and water but we're not gonna do that i'm gonna show you how vegan kings figured out a way to make it the cheesiest and creamiest all right family let's start by adding our vegan milk into the pot all right family so i'm gonna add a little bit of this butter which is a plant-based butter I mean, so we're going to let our milk and butter boil for about three to five minutes. All right, guys. All right, family. So now we're going to add our seasoning, which you can find right here to our boiled milk. I added a little turmeric to give it that yellow hue to mimic mac and cheese. All right, family, while our milk is boiling, we're going to take care of our lobster. So I got my lion's mane right here, and I'm going to add it into the bowl. Then I'm going to just separate it into little pieces, like so, so we could begin to fry. For our lion's mane mushroom to mimic lobster, I'm going to add a little twist to it. We're going to be using beet powder in this recipe to give it that pink hue. If you are receiving value in this recipe video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Add your seasoning family. This is a mixture of beet powder as well as seaweed from Trader Joe's guys. This is going to give it that pink hue like it was actually lobster as you can see so if you cut it open still white all right guys so add it to your flour mix and remember to squeeze so all that water that's inside of the mushroom could help the flour mixture adhere and fry nicely After letting your milk boil for five to eight minutes, we're gonna add in our pasta. All right, family, so now we're gonna let this boil for about five to seven minutes. For your best mac and cheese, guys, you gotta mess with the Kite Hill, guys. This is one of the best cream cheese I ever found. We're gonna add that into our pasta because it's finally ready. Now we're gonna add our cheese. All right, family, so the mac is finally ready. We're gonna add it into this Pyrex bowl and we're gonna add it into the air fryer for 10 to 12 minutes. Put some Daya cheese on top. And if you have some breadcrumbs, throw that on top as well. And that's it. My mac is finally ready, family. Now, now, now let's go for the taste. Go for the taste. <laughs> if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you next week. Peace.